During the Korean War, American pilots fought an intense air battle near the Korean-Manchurian border. It was an area known as MIG Alley. On November 8, 1950, a patrol of U.S. Air Force F-80 shooting stars came under attack from enemy MIGs. As one MIG went into a shallow dive, Air Force Fighter Pilot Lieutenant Russell Brown gave chase. Though the MIG was faster, Brown closed in on his target. Firing a five-second burst, Brown scored a kill, shooting down the first MIG of the Korean War while engaging the first ever jet-to-jet -jet dogfight. But to U.S. Air Force pilots, the F-80 was still no match for the MIG. Days later, a faster American jet fighter entered the war, the Air Force's F-86 Sabre. On December 17th, U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Bruce Hinton would score the first MiG kill by a Sabre fighter pilot. By war's end, 827 MiGs would go down in Korea. MiG Alley might be named after these Russian jets, but it was an area dominated by American pilots, making it an important part of our American military history.